Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's talk about why I joined EXP, brought my business over here, and should you do it? And if you decide to do so, should you do it with me? So we'll go into a little bit of a presentation about who I am, how I get to where I'm at, why I decided to bring uh, my business over to EXP, what are the big reasons why I decided to do that, and maybe one of them will talk to you and you decide to do the same. So a little bit about me, I was raised, born and raised in Transylvania, Romania, as you can hear from my accent. I'm Hungarian by nationality. I actually um, came to the US in 2003 as an au pair. I did not know anyone in this country, a live-in nanny. I met my husband, Dwayne, two months after I got here, and two months after that, I was moved in, and two months after that, we were married. I'd known the guy for four months. We are happily married now. This is our 19th year. We have two boys. They are 12 and uh, 14. They're going to be 12 and 14 this summer. Uh, we have a dog. Her name is Charlie. So to back it up a little bit, how Gogo came about, my real name is Junvir. Nobody can pronounce it here in the U.S. At home, they called me Juju as a nickname. Nobody can pronounce that either. So when I came as an au pair, my host parents asked me if they can call me Gogo because they, could, they couldn't say Junvir, they couldn't say Juju, and they asked me if they can call me Gogo, and I said, sure, what do I know, what do I care? So that's how Gogo came about. When I work corporate America, you might hear some people or see some people on social media calling me Gwen. If you see that happening, that's because they've known me for a very long time. In corporate America, they called me Gwen because Gogo -Go wasn't like the professional name. It sounded more like someone called the wrong 1-800 phone number if you know what I mean. So in corporate America, my name was Gwen. Um, when I got licensed back in 2011, I actually asked all my friends, I messaged them and I said, hey, do you think I should use the name Gwen on my yard signs and for my branding or do you think I should use the name Gogo? -Go? And guess what they all said? Take a wild guess. They all said, Gwen. And if you haven't noticed, if you followed me for a while, you realize I don't care what people say or think, I'm going to ask you for your opinion. But if I don't like your opinion, I'm still gonna do what I think it's right. So what I thought is right is to continue to going with what I feel like my name is, and my name is Gogo. -Go. And so when I got licensed in 2011, right away, I chose Gogo's Real Estate as my Facebook business page, and that's how the madness started. Initially, I started with a company called Real Estate One. Becoming a licensed realtor was not even my idea. My neighbor, she's still the marketing director for Capital Title, a local title company, and she thought I would make a great realtor. And I was like, hmm. I watch HGTV, I can, I can do this. I can show three houses and they're going to buy one and they sharpen pencils and collect butterflies and they qualify for $2 million. I mean, who can do that? <laughs> It just, just, that's just not the reality though. That's the fun part of it. But I got licensed. I went and interviewed with Real Estate One. They even paid for my licensing. They said, if I pass, they will pay for it. Guess who passed? First try, this one right here. So I became a licensed realtor with a company called Real Estate One in 2011. And I stayed with them for six and a half years. I had a really, really, really good guys. I literally, I was the baby. They called me the million dollar baby because I sold the $1.2 million listing in three and a half hours, which is very huge price for us here locally. The average price at the time was 275. So they called me the million dollar baby. I had a, a, a corner office with big windows, a huge office for myself. I really didn't have a reason to leave. My cap and my cut was amazing. The people there were amazing. I had no reason to leave. But in 2000, fast forward to 2018, so now I've been with Real Estate One for six and a half years, I grown my business with the power of social media. So I started everything, guys, from day one, as I said, I started with a business Facebook page called Google's Real Estate, and that's how I always planned on generating my business because I didn't know anyone here. So I went and interviewed all of the agents, and through the process of figuring out how they became a top producing agent, that also made me realize what are the things that I don't wanna do or the things that I'm not willing to do. So the cold calling and the door knocking and the farming and the buying the Zillow leads that was never in the cards for me. It's against my religion or I couldn't afford it. And so I always had the idea that I'm going to generate the strangers because who's going to buy and sell a house with me? It's a stranger because I don't know anyone in this country. So I figured where do I find strangers? Social media. So that's how the Facebook thing came about. Um, and I always started, I always built my business on social media. That's where I'm going to find the next stranger. So because I did that and because I eventually took my business over to Instagram as well, and on Instagram at this time, we are in 2018, I had tens and tens and tens of thousands of followers and most of them were realtors or in the real estate industry. Keller Williams was blowing me up and trying to get me to come over to them. And same with Remax and all of the other companies that I worked with. And um, I never had a reason to leave. Like seriously, nobody 
could touch my cap and cut with a six foot pole. And they couldn't afford for me to come over. We are talking coming from a 9,000 cap, $900 per transaction for 10 transactions, then I was done a real estate one versus going over to like a $21,000 cap. I'm like, well, that would be stupid. I pay for this hair color, okay? As you can see, that's not my original. Pay for it, because it's way more fun. Life is way more fun blend for me, okay? So back to that conversation, Keller in 2018 got to me with what they called profit share. The way profit share works, guys, at this time I already helped hundreds of agents to get licensed or people to get into the in industry becoming a licensed agent. And I would feed them to go to here and go to this office and go to that office. I never got paid for it. There was just no infrastructure at Real Estate One for that because Real Estate One is a um, family owned company and they're only in the state of Michigan. So at this time, 30 some thousand followers on Instagram, most of which are agents, they're all over the country. So I would refer an agent in Idaho and an agent in California, an agent in Wisconsin. and. I got nothing for it, but I spent time. Then if I took that time and sold another house, I would have made more money, correct? So I figured there has to be a way how I can get paid for that time because I love this industry. And I talk about the things I love and the things that I don't love. And I want to help others to achieve their goals. If real estate is, is the avenue that they want to feed their family with, I want, if I can, I want to help. But at the same time, if that is taking time away from my transaction, which makes my money, then I have to replace that money. Does that make sense? So I figured there has to be a way and, and Keller Williams got to be finally what they call profit share. So the way that worked is introducing agents to Keller Williams anywhere in the nation, um, you would get a certain percentage of the profit that they generate to the offices. Well, very quickly I caught on um, that the office actually has to be profitable in order for there to be profit to be shared. Um, also the percentages and the trackability of those um, commissions are, it was almost impossible. You gotta check under the door. So I didn't necessarily had a dashboard to log in and see who produced what, how much was the listing for, what commissions they collected, what's my share of it, because it was so, it was so intricate. Like they had to profit share versus revenue share, guys. The difference is, Okay, let's put it this way. You, you have an agent join an office somewhere, cool? They sell a transaction, they collect a commission, the office takes a cut from that commission. Out of that cut, that's how the, the office maintains itself. That's how they pay for the front desk person, all the systems, all the processes. That's how they have coffee for the coffee machine and, and, and toilet paper in the bathrooms and all of those things that it takes to run an office. Now they are going to, um, you know this thing called taxes? Okay, we are all entrepreneurs, we know how that works, correct? So what that means is raise your hand watching this video if you love paying taxes. Yeah, none of us. So what happens is these offices are going to make sure that they're not very profitable because if you're profitable, you have to pay taxes on it, correct? So then they're gonna hire a new team lead or the existing team lead is going to get a raise. They're gonna hire a new tr uh, transaction coordinator for the office or they'll replace the carpet and then buy a new printer and a coffee machine. And next thing you know, there's a little profit left and then they share a little profit. So I caught on very quick that it's really not worth my time. Not only that, but I went from a 9,000 cap to a 21,000 cap thinking that that profit share is going to make up for what I am paying extra in cap. So I'm all for numbers, guys. If you don't know your numbers, and, and also I have made mistakes in my life, so learn from mine. This is why we are here today, correct? So I work for money, though. I work to create a better life for my family than I ever had. I work for my American dream. So if I left everyone behind back in Romania, my mom, my dad, my sister, my cousins, my grandparents, and every, every childhood friend that you can think of, then this dream, why I left them all behind, has to worth it. Does that make sense? So I'm always constantly going to what is my personal next level of how I can get myself to that next level. So then I know that sacrificing all of these years with like 19 years of no birthdays spent with my family, like that comes at a high price. So it has to worth it for me. That's my why. That's why I'm keep chasing. So then one day when I look back at my life, I can say it was worth it. Um, so taking back to that, very quickly I realized that profit share was really not worth my time. But if it wasn't for that life lesson, I would have probably never even been open to the idea, my receiving ears would have not been on to the idea of what we call now revenue share at EXP. So personally, my reason of switching over to this company was revenue share. Because the reason 
or I should say the year before I switched to Keller, I did 48, I think, or 43 transactions personally that year. So I can do production. I'm not afraid of production. I can find the leads I always have been. That is not my issue. Do I want an icon here, which I'm going to talk about the icon program and earning your cap back? Absolutely, but that was not my reason one. My reason one personally was revenue share, to be able to grow a team, not only locally, but nationally and internationally and leverage other people's time. Do you know what Ford says? that I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of mine. That's what triggered me because eventually, if you do this right, you're going to hit a personal ceiling. There's only so many transactions that you can do in a year. And, and here's what happens. Then your wheel starts turning. Be like, okay, 43 transactions is my absolute max that I can do. Okay, so then how can I make more money? Because I'm not okay just plateauing here for the rest of my life and doing 48 transactions for the rest of my life for the same amount of money. Like that would be stupid. Okay. So I said, okay, what is my next step? So then we're like, okay, I can change the price range. Well, cause then I do the same amount of transaction at a higher price range, higher commission. I make more money doing the same amount of work. Correct. Well, at that time, the average price range in our area was about 275. My average that year was 412. That means I would have to break into the gated community and those homes at the time sit anywhere from six to 12 months on the market and the pool of people who can afford those homes is 1%, the top 1%ers. Not only that, very little amount of neighborhoods are that top 1%er neighborhood. So I would really limit myself to a very specific niche that is just not as high of a turnover. So yes, my commission would be higher, but the turnover would be less. So in the end of the year, would I still make, probably end up making the same amount of money. So that wasn't an option. My next option was start a team. Okay, I'll create a bunch of little go-go's. We all running around at the same time and I'll take a cut on all of the transaction. I'll generate all the leads. I'll give them all the trainings. We'll be a little cute little community together, but multiple people running around like chicken head cut off at the same time. So that's what I did. I started a small team. I actually had one at Real Estate One, took the small team over to Keller, grew it by two agents and that small team fell apart. And then I came over to EXP as an individual agent. And then I started another team. That's a whole other story. We'll go into teams in a second. So just so you understand the evolution of mine, in the midst of all this, I was in the middle of getting my broker's license because I figured, what if this brokerage that I'm with um, changes the rules? What if one day I can't market the way I want to market anymore? What if there are rules that I don't like anymore? It just doesn't go along with my vision. I should have my freedom and go get my broker's license. So I was in the middle of getting my broker's license. 90, day, 90 uh, hours in the state of Michigan. So I was about at 40 hour mark. And that's when EXP got presented to me again, mind you. It was presented to me for about 40 times before this. But once you see it, real numbers, you can't unsee it. So here is what happened to me personally. In the past, all of the agents that were trying to explain me the EXP model, they all spun it from what would happen to them if I brought my business over because of my reach. Nobody explained it to me in a way how that would change my life and my family's life if I switch my business over to EXP until my sponsor, Curtis Shewell, and his sponsor, Mark Z, reached out to me and they sat down with me at lunch. I was prepared for that meeting, trust me, because I did not want to switch over to EXP. So before I met with them, I seriously sat down, got to the end of Google, I did all my research, YouTube, read all, read all the blog posts, and I was ready to say, this is why I'm not switching to EXP. Well, instead what happened is I was like, after all that research, I'm like, huh. I went from, they're all kooks over there, to hold on a minute, it is too good to be true, where's the catch, literally. So I met with them. This is 2018, probably August. And it haunted me guys for six weeks after I understood that you can earn your cap back. So I wouldn't have a cap. That cap would be sitting in my retirement account in the end of the year. Hold on a minute. I spent at this time seven and a half years of my life with two different brokerages. And I walked out from each of those brokerages with a box full of glass trophies and some plaques. And I went over to the other office, which again, a top producing agent. And I walked out of that office with another box full of glass trophies and some plaques. Now I can tell you, I can't pay my mortgage off with that. I can't send my children to college with that. I can't retire on glass trophies. I don't think if they're worth $3, I don't know if anybody would give me 25 cents for them. They worth nothing. So I was like, hmm. So I can continue doing everything that I've been doing here, but here I only got commission and glass trophies. 
or I could do it here and I can get commissions and I can earn my cap back and become icon and that would sit in my retirement account in company stocks. And since I'm talking about stocks, there's four more ways we earn stocks for free, which again, I don't have ownership at this company over here. I got nothing for eight years of my life. And then um, on top of it, there's revenue share. So if I help the company grow and I help generate revenue to the company, the company gives back a certain portion of the revenue, percentage of the revenue. I don't get that here. And then I could go on and on and on and on and I can take my local cute little Team GoGo office and I wanted to start a GoGo's real estate team and turn it nationally and internationally here because this country or this company is in 16 different countries. Or I can do all that here and not get paid for any of this. So I was like, huh, let me look into it just a little more. So that's what happened. I met with them and I saw the numbers like real numbers. And I was like, whoa, guys, it haunted me for six weeks. I seriously lost weight over this decision. But one day I woke up dead out of sleep at five o'clock in the morning. And I was like, okay, let me devil's advocate. Everything bad I heard about EXP at this time, how it's a pyramid scheme, how the stocks are worth nothing, how blah, 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 this company can possibly make it. I was like, okay, hold on a minute. Where I'm at right here, I don't get ownership in the company. <laughs> like these stocks that I don't have could worth nothing or a million dollars when I retired because it's worth nothing to me because I don't have ownership in the company. These stocks over here though, even if they're worth a penny, by the time I retire, if I spend another 30 years and I gain, I don't know, a thousand pennies every single year, now I'm talking, I have 30,000 pennies that I wouldn't have here. Does that make sense? Even if it's a penny, so it can only get better than where I'm at right now. And here versus here, revenue share, it's not even comparable. So I was like, okay, so worst case scenario, everything I heard on the streets, <laughs> it's miles better than over here, the worst case scenario. So I'm just gonna switch because the worst, I'm already living it. So that's what happened. So in October of 2018, best decision, business decision I've ever made in my career, I switched my business over to EXP. Now here, I came for three major reasons, so let's go right into that. But first, I'm assuming you work for money, so I'm gonna break down the money portion of it because, you know, let's assume we all work for money. Cap is 16,000 nationwide for everyone. That's the best part. There is no such a thing as, oh, you've been in the industry forever and you're a mega icon team, I'm gonna give you your cap at 7,500, but don't tell anyone. And then the brand new agents, we're gonna go 19,000. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. Everybody's 16,000 nationwide. You could be in Idaho or Wisconsin or California or Michigan. It doesn't matter. Your cap is 16,000. And your cut is 80-20, no matter who you are. But that's another thing that I love. We're all equal. And everything depends on your work ethic of how, what kind of results you're going to pull from those numbers. Now, if you're a brand new agent, so during your application process, they're going to ask you, hey, have you had at least three transactions in your previous year? in previous 12 months. If you say no, you automatically get rolled into what we call our mentor program. For that means you get a local mentor. Your sponsor is going to be the person who invited you to the company, but you're going to get a local mentor who's literally going to hold your hand through the first three transactions. I am a local mentor. I'm a certified mentor in the state of Michigan by EXP. So I have mentees. I hold their hand through the first three transactions. After that, when they graduate, they're ready to go on their own. While you are a mentee, instead of having an 80-20 cap uh, cut, you're going to have a 60-40 cut on the first three transactions. So instead of paying 20% to the company, you're gonna be paying 40% to the company on your first three transactions. After that, you graduate, you're good to be on your own, and you go back to the 80-20 split like everybody else in the company. Also, if you're a seasoned agent and you would like to hold other agents' hands through the process of their first three transactions, you can become a mentor. There's a training for that. You go to the training, become a mentor, and then 10% of that 40% that the agent pays in goes to you for holding their hand. So that was an additional source of income for me. At any given time, I have six to seven mentees. If they close one transaction a month and I get 10% of the total commission, that's like real, that's real money. That's income right into my bank account. So that's another reason as well. So again, cap is 16,000, cut is 80, 20 for everyone nationwide, unless you're a venue agent. 
If you're a brand new agent, you will become a mentee. And for that, you're going to have a 60-40 split on the first three transactions. So those are the numbers. Now we have a couple of small fees, $25 broker review fee and $40 ENO. So here's what happens. Let's say you sell a $300,000 house, okay? Collect, let's assume $3,000 commission. Sorry, 3% commission, $9,000, okay? Out of that, you're gonna be paying 20% to the company, so that's 7,200. Leaves you with 7,200, 1,800 goes to the company. Out of that, you're gonna be paying $40 for errors and emissions. Now, our errors and emissions or legal fee, legal coverage, it's capped at 500. So right around 12, 13 transactions a year, you are done. You're no longer paying errors and emissions, but you are covered for the rest of your transactions. So if you do more transactions than 13 a year, you are still covered for e &O. And then we have a $25 broker review fee. So those two small fees gets taken out per transaction. Our cost to sign up at eXp is $149. That includes your first month. After that, it's $85 a month. So you literally sign up, it's $85 you pay a month if you don't do any transactions. If you do transactions, you pay your 20% until you cap, you pay $40 ENO on the first 13 transactions, and you pay $25 broker review fee. And that's it. I know. And guess what? There's no small print. In some of the brokerages, my, ex my experience is that I always had to hunt down my commission. There was not always, but most of the time, there was a mi mistake made to my commission and then I had to hunt it down or I didn't get paid on time. Like I had a Friday closing and I didn't get paid until Thursday of next week. I'm like, seriously, what's taking so long? Here, we get paid on the same day sometimes if they're not too busy. Lately, because we have been growing so fast, it takes the next business day, but the money is in your account. Usually your files are approved before you even ever get to the closing table. So let's talk about reason number one, the ICON program. Okay, so the ICON program works this way. Our cap is 16,000 nationwide. It took me eight and a half transactions to cap. If you can do 20 more transactions in your own anniversary year, and everyone's anniversary year is the first of the next month. So let's say at this video I'm shooting in June right now. If you decide to join me in June, join us, I should say, in June, your anniversary date would be July 1st to July 1st. I joined in October, so my anniversary date is um, October, no, sorry, November 1st to November 1st. Makes sense? So it's always the first of the next month. So let's say it takes you, took me three and a half months to do eight and a half transactions, okay? So with that, I capped. So in three months, I capped, which means now I have nine months to be at 100%. While you are at 100%, if you can do 20 more transactions until your anniversary date is up again, in this period, if you can do 20 more transactions, that's make you an icon agent, and icon agents earn their cap back. That's 16,000 that you paid in in cap, you're going to get it back in company stocks that will sit in your retirement account in the end of the year. Where's the catch? Hold on, so you're a top producing agent doing 28 and a half transactions in my case. Um, imagine if I went into my previous broker's office and I said, hey, I did 43 transactions this year, can I get my cap back? They probably would have looked like, do, do, do you need me to check your fever? Are you sick? It was not an option. It was not an option. Brokers, real brick and mortar brokerages, they have expenses. They need to pay those bills. They need to solve the driveway and have a front desk person and the phone line and the desks and the this and the printers and the coffee machines and the, the office manager and all of those things. It comes with expenses. They have to pay the mortgage. They have to have a cleaning crew come every Tuesday to clean the offices. They don't have that. You're a cyberspace company, which means everybody, you wanna see my office? Let me show you. You wanna see my office? Right here, this is my office. This is how I run multiple multi-million dollar businesses right from here. So you can easily do that, but because we can do that, we no longer have the expenses. And because we don't have the expenses now, we can give it back to the agents that deserve it. So if you're an icon agent, because you did, you're capping at 16,000, whatever transaction that takes you. In my case, it took me eight and a half transactions to cap. In the next nine months, in my case, you can do 20 more transactions. That's an icon agent. You earn that back and it's sitting in your retirement account in the end of the year. Uh, sign me up because you don't get that anywhere else. You can't go into your broker's office right now and, and tell them, hey, I did 30 some transactions this year, 40 some, 100, 200, whatever many you did. Can I have my cap back? Let me know what they say. I'm just curious. Probably the answer is no. But here, here you can earn it back. So if you can do 20 transactions after close, after capping, that makes you an icon agent in your own anniversary year 
and you earn your cap back in company stocks. Now, feel free to look up our stocks. We are called EXPI. So EXP is publicly traded since 2019, I think. Don't quote me on it, 18. Um, publicly traded. Actually, I don't know that number. Delete it all together. I know we are NASDAQ traded. I don't know the year though. Forget it. But if you're NASDAQ trader, look up the stocks. It's called EXPI and check it out. You as outsider, you can buy stocks in the company, but us as insider, we earn it for free or we can buy it at a discounted rate. So let me walk you through the five ways how we earn stocks. The one we pay for, that's the only one we pay for, four are free. So think of it this way. This we pay, these are free, okay? The only way we pay is this. You can opt in. It's an actual question on your application. Hey, do you want to opt into the equity awards? I think it's called program. You say yes. What that means is every time you close on a transaction, they automatically take out 5% of your total commission and they'll buy you stocks at a 10% discounted rate. So let's let's assume, keep the math simple. Sorry, that your commission is 10,000. They're gonna take 5%, which is $500. They're gonna buy you stocks at a discounted rate. Last I checked, the stocks were $31. Now, granted, this was last week, so I don't know what they are today. Take 10% uh, out of that, so that's $3.10. So you would be buying stocks at a $27 a piece for $500 and they automatically do it for you right out of your commission every single time. So I can tell you this though, the year, the, the three, this is my third year with the company. November 1st is gonna be my three year anniversary. Now it's June, so two and a half years ish. In a two and a half years, I could pay my mortgage off on this house that I'm talking on right now, um, time and a half for my stocks, for doing my job here versus doing my job here. Yeah, that's tax. So that's the only way we pay for 5% of every commission. You buy stacks at a 10% discounted rate. You don't have to buy it. You just opt in and the system does it for you automatically. Every time you close, they take 5% out. At the end of the month, from all your closings, they have a pool of money. They buy you stocks in the company. So you, every time you close, you become a part owner of the company. And next time, a little more. And next time, a little more. And by the time you retire, you own a chunk of the company that you spent 10, 20, 30 years with. Uh, hello, yes, please sign me up. So I automatically opted in. I do that every time you close. Okay, the next four options is this. Your first closing every single year, the company gives you $200 worth of stocks. Just for staying another year and closing a transaction I would have closed anyway. I mean, I'm happily here and I'm not going anywhere. But you're gonna give me $200 worth of stocks for that? Uh, please sign me up. Number two, the agents you bring to the company. Now, you don't have to bring anyone, but if you love the company as much as I do, trust me, you know you're gonna be able to shit up about it. And next thing you know, your friends in the industry are like, what did you do? You went to EXP, why? Send me some video, tell me more. Next thing you know, they're joining with you. So when they join with you and they name you as their sponsor, because nobody can join the company without naming someone as their sponsor, they name you as their sponsor. When they close their first transaction, you get $400 worth of stocks. Now think of it this way. I brought personally over 150 agents in personally sponsored into the company times $400 for the first transactions. That's a whole other retirement right there by itself. Uh, sign me up. That's two. Three is when you cap. So when you reach your $16,000 cap, the company says, hey, Gogo, you're a rock star. Here's another $400 worth of stocks. And I'll say thank you so much because I cap every year. And then the next one is the icon. The icon, again, you cap plus 20 transactions make you an icon agent. And that gives you back all 16,000 you paid in, in, um, in your cap. You get it back in company stocks. Hmm. I'm, I know you're wondering where do you sign? I know, because that's what I was wondering too. I was like, huh, where do I sign? Really fast before they change their mind and they take all these benefits. They're not going to, but I'm just saying that's what I was thinking. I'm like, let me sign this contract while I'm getting all this. So that's tax. Now let's go into revenue share. You excited? That's so exciting because trust me, this is what's gonna happen and mark my words, okay? You're going to, you're watching this video right now and you're like, uh, go, go, where's the button that I want to sign up with you? I want you to be my sponsor. Let's do this thing together. Where's the button? I know that's what you're wondering, but I'm going to make you suffer through the whole video so you can get everything that the company offers before so you can be certain that this is what you want. And trust me, this is what you want. This was the best business decision I've ever made in my entire business career. But I still make you suffer through the whole video because there's a whole other thing I need to explain you that's going to make your head spin so hard and you're going to be signing your name, not even recognizing your own signature. You're going to be so excited. Okay, so let's go into this one. The next one is what we call revenue share. And here's how it works. 
This is like a whole other income and I'm not kidding you. So revenue share works this way. Again, nobody can join this company, EXP, without naming someone as their sponsor. The company says, hey, Gogo, thank you so much for bringing Jessica and Adam and Alex and Christy and Dwayne and da -da 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 -da, everybody to the company, Mike and Ashley and Jennifer. And I mean, I can't list all 50 of them, but a lot of people. Thank you for bringing them to the company. When you have the company grow, you will get revenue share. So here's how it works. Let's say for the sake of the conversation, Dwayne is one of my uh, personally sponsored, my husband, or Mike Sims or Christy or Clancy, you name it, okay? Pick a name, Jennifer, okay? We're gonna pick Jennifer, okay? So let's say Jennifer decides to join this company and on her application, they're going to ask her, hey, Jennifer, who's responsible for you joining EXP? And Jennifer's gonna say, it's Gogo, because if it wasn't for Gogo, I probably would have never joined. So Jennifer and I become business partners. She names me as her sponsor. Now, Jennifer will never cut me a check. She owes me absolutely nothing. She's never gonna Venmo me, never PayPal me, never, you name it, never, ever, 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 never gonna give me as much as a penny. Okay, or a Romanian lei, which is four pennies. Or I should say, <laughs> four lei is a dollar, okay? Nothing, you're never gonna ever, 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 ever give me anything, you owe me absolutely nothing, but I become your business partner, okay? This is why you're watching this video. Should you join the company with me? I become your sponsor, Jennifer becomes what's called my first generation or my downline, okay? So everybody that you personally sponsor becomes your first generation. On your first generation, when Jennifer is paying in her 20% to the company, so she is making a commission, correct? She generated revenue to the company, she's collecting a commission. Out of that commission, she's going to be paying 20% to EXP, keeping 80% and running all the way to the bank because she's so freaking excited because previously she was probably at a 70-30, so she's saving 10% just to come in over, pretty much uh, nationwide average. Okay, she pays in the 20% to the company, but the company says, hey, go, go. If it wasn't for you, Jennifer probably would have never joined. So here is three and a half percent of the 20% that Jennifer paid in, not her 80%. She's never gonna pay me anything, you remember? The 20% that she paid to the company. The company says, Gogo, if it wasn't for you, Jennifer would have never joined. So three and a half percent of Jennifer's commission, that 20% she paid in, comes to me. On the 22nd of every month, every time she closes a transaction until she caps. When she stopped paying her 20% to the company, because she capped, now she's at 100%, I get nothing until her cap starts over on her next anniversary date. It's really that simple. But it gets even better. The company says, hey, Kurt, who sponsored Gogo, who sponsored Jennifer, if it wasn't for Kurt for sponsoring me, who sponsored Jennifer, Jennifer would never be here today. So even Kurt gets a cut. And then Mark, who sponsored Kurt, who sponsored me, who sponsored Jennifer, also gets a cut because if it wasn't for Mark sponsoring Kurt, who sponsored me, who sponsored Jennifer, Jennifer would never be with the company. So all of us, seven generations above Jennifer, we get a cut out of the 20% that Jennifer pays into the company. So on your first generation, you get $2,800 per agent per year. That is the maximum you can make, $2,800 per agent per year or 3.5% of her total commission every time while she's capping. Now it even gets better. Guess what? Jennifer probably has a friend or two in real estate as well. So if that's the case, Jennifer's gonna bring over her two friends. Let's say it's Jessica and Adam, okay? Now Jessica and Adam become Jennifer's first generation, but they become my second generation because I sponsored just Jennifer who sponsored them, makes sense? On second generation, you get paid 3.8%, equaling $3,200 per agent per year. So each generation, which by the way, we get paid seven generations deep, each generation pays you a different percentage, equaling to a different amount, as long as those agents stay with the company or you stay with the company. Again, uh, where do I sign? Because even if I just have five friends who have five friends, 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 who have five, five friends, seven generations deep, that's a lot of freaking friends than I have in real estate. And this is what going to help you, that helped me, to get off of the real estate roller coaster of the, oh, I'm employed, never mind, they sold the house and I'm employed. Where is the necklace thing coming from? Oh, I'm employed, never mind, I sold it, I'm employed, employed, unemployed, employed, unemployed, employed, unemployed. Well, this is how my income came in. This is how my bills came in. Every single month, bills come here, income comes here. I was done with the roller coaster. I don't like the real estate roller coaster. Get me off of it. I don't like roller coasters, period, in real life, let alone in real estate. I want, when my bill comes in, to have more money than my bill is like, I mean, way more money. Not only that, since we're talking money, let's go into Business Mastery by Tony Robbins. So about two years ago, 
I went, well, let's go back a little further just so you understand my evolution with Tony Robbins. So in probably 2014, or 15 was my very first introduction to UPW, Unleash the Power Within. I did uh, four Unleash the Power Withins, and then I had the opportunity to go to Business Mastery, and then I had an opportunity to, to go to Date with Destiny. Tony Robbins has changed my life. So when I went to Business Mastery, I think this was 2018, I walked in there thinking I'm all that in a bag of chips. Like, uh, hello, I'm an immigrant, I make all this money, like how much better could it possibly be? Like that year, guys, when I went in 2018, when I went to Business Mastery, I made more money than I would have ever made in my entire life if I stayed in Romania. So, like I, I was doing really good. I walked in there. Come to find out, did you know that the average multimillionaire has multiple revenues of income, at least 67, and they only trade their time for one? which means six of them are passive income or what I like to call it horizontal money because you are asleep while you're making that money. So I was like, oh, and then the Henry Ford quote, and I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of mine. Because here's the thing. Do you want to truly be 67 years old and doing open houses and doing 48 transactions just so you can maintain the lifestyle that you always have? Did you know that realtors are awful savers? Most of them are broke. I was one of them. That's how I know those statistics. That needed to change. I needed to go out of, yes, I made a lot of money, but all of my eggs were in the same commissions basket. If this uh, ship sinks, it's all going bye-bye, okay? So I needed to make multiple revenues of income, and EXP allowed me to do that, not only multiple revenues of income, but I needed to find revenues that I didn't personally have to trade my time for. I needed to have passive income or what I like to call horizontal money revenue share where that comes in. I look at it as like the six degrees of separation. You know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. There's multiple people in this world, especially in this industry, that you could change their life to. Did you know the average realtor, well, 600,000 realtors have not done a single transaction last year? Did you know that the average realtor does one to two transactions a year? Did you know that the top 5% does 80% uh, of the business? Yeah. The 95% does a measly one to two transactions or none every single year. I did not want to be a part of that statistics. When I'm doing anything, I'm on the top of the list or not on the list at all. And that's how I, when I came back from Business Mastery, I was like, I need to reevaluate my business. I need to start new businesses. I need to have multiple revenues of income. So if one goes out, it doesn't really affect my lifestyle because I have, as of today, 22 revenues of income. It won't affect me because I have money coming from here, 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 and most of them are passive, meaning it would work even without me. If I decide to go to Romania, which I just purchased my tickets, I'm going home, guys, for the month of July, and I am so excited. If I decide to take some time off and go home and hug my family and eat my mom's cooking and listen to my music and just see my childhood friends and take it easy for a month, I can do that because it's not going to affect my life whatsoever, period. That is your goal, at least it's mine, to be able to live life on your terms, whatever your body or your mind needs at the time. If you need to take some time, if some time off, take some time off. It's not going to reflect in your income in the end of the month. Also, if your business over here is GoGo's Real Estate and GoGo croaks one day, that business goes bye-bye. There's no book of business to be sold because those people worked with me, correct? If you don't have your systems built out, your teams, your lead generation sources, all of those um, ISAs and all of those uh, Facebook ads and all that that would work without you, your business is not a business if you can't sell it. So you want to build all those systems and all of those businesses that would work without you so you can make multiple revenues of income. So this is where revenue share finally dawned on me. Guys, I know tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands of agents. And many of you would kill for the idea to be business partners with me. And I, don't get me wrong, would kill for the idea to be business partners with you. And this is why I'm doing this video here. This is how I can make an impact. This is how I can leave a legacy. This is how I can business partner with every single one of you that see what I see in the opportunity here, that would love to be business partners with me, which again, I don't take a cut. You owe me absolutely nothing, but I will help you achieve any goal that if I've been there, 
I already have the systems in places. All you need to do is plug in. But if I haven't been there, trust me, I know somebody who has. And then all I need to do is make the introduction so then they, this other top 1%, can show you how to get there where you are trying to go much faster. So this is what I'm trying to get with this conversation, guys. This is your opportunity to be business partners with me. This is my opportunity to be business partners with you. This is an opportunity that will change both of our lives at the same time. So what I'm suggesting here, thank you so much for watching it this far. What I'm suggesting here, if you would consider becoming a Team GoGo member, my business partner with absolutely no cost to you, this is where we go into what Team GoGo has to offer. So Team GoGo is the organization or downline that I started after I joined to EXP. So all of the agents that I personally sponsor, they become my first generation. There's almost 150 of them, 149 today. Um, and they also have their friends and their friends and their friends and their friends. And now we are 610 of us in what we call the Team GoGo family, international family team as in we do everything together as in we grow together we celebrate together we refer to one another but we do not take a cut nobody owns anybody anything we become business siblings so sad we are here to like have fun together and reach the skies together guys so in the team gogo -Go organization we train you're gonna see me four times a week yes a week you're gonna get sick of me we just started a new series. Every Tuesday, we do our icon series. We have nine icons in Team GoGo, and they literally teach their ways, how they got to icon, how they got to where they at. So you are going to learn from the horse's mouth. Joe Schmo is not going to teach you social media that has 276 followers, okay? Well, the person who's going to teach you social media is the one who has a verified account, who generates all of their leads, who had multi-millions, made multi-millions with the power of social media. This one, never mind. Let's go back to the icon series. So with the icon series, every single Tuesday, some of our icons will come in and literally on a rotation, teach you how they got to icon. Literally their systems, literally their mindset, literally their day-to-day -day schedule and their, and their apps and their trackers and their um, Excel sheets and all of the things that they use to get to where they are. So you're going to learn from the actual icon, how they icon. Now imagine if you know their tricks, would you icon much faster? Absolutely. So all of the agents on Team Gogo that want to icon and that's important to them, they come to the training every single Tuesday. Every single Wednesday, um, we have what's called our Team Gogo training. That's every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern time. Every time I share, it's at Eastern time. So keep that in mind. So every Wednesday at one o'clock, I invite the top 1% of the top 1%. So these are the rock story as bad as yes, agents or anybody that's somebody in the real estate industry to come and teach us what they are sorry, really good at, so we can come, become much better, much faster, learn from their lessons, implement their system, so we don't have to figure it out on our own and get to the finish line much faster. Guess who we have this week? I'm so excited. This is probably one of the biggest. Now, the Team GoGo -Go trainings, guys, our group is private. Our group is sacred. We are a family together. Nobody gets in there unless you're with us. If you decide to be business partners with us, you get all this and the shirt off of my back for the rest of your life, I become your business partner. And everybody else in Team GoGo -Go becomes your business partner as well. But if you're not with us, the trainings are not open to anyone. This is our sacred group. While this week alone, as I'm, what, as I'm sharing this in early June, we have Tony Robbins, Top sales coach, Steve, some, his last name starts with an H, teaching us for an hour and a half. There's a thousand people registered. Now, this is the only um, coaching, the Team GoGo -Go training call, weekly coaching that I opened up to the public just so everybody can see inside because it's life changing. Tony changed my life and I owe it to him to help change others. And this will also allow people to see insight into what it's like to partner with us. What type of training, what type of support, what kind of leads, what kind of everything that we provide here. So that's every Wednesday at one o'clock. This week just happens to be Tony Robbins. Usually our trainings are only, it's sacred. It's only for the Team GoGo -Go family every Wednesday at one o'clock. I invite the top 1% of the top 1% to come and teach us. So we learn from the absolute best. So we got to be best much faster. Every Thursday, we do Tech Thursday. So Christy and her assistant, her assistant Saeed, do a training, technology-related trainings, any systems, any processes, any trackers, anything that we do that has to do with systems um, and um, you know setting up systems in your businesses so you can work much faster and, and um, just get to your goal much faster. We do those every Thursday at 10 o'clock. Those could be anything from as simple as Google Drive and explaining how some things work. You get access to my whole Google Drive, by the way. So any contracts I ever have, like from my marketing agreements, you name it, any tracker, which I'm a nerd. Um, I love tracking everything. You have access to absolutely anything. All you need to do is go into the Team Google Google Drive. There you have it. You never have to create another document. Again, if I already have it, you have it for the rest of your life. 
and we unbrand everything, which means we remove the team logo or Google real estate team brand from everything and it's unbranded. So all you need to do is put your logo at it, on it and you're good to go. Um, that's every Thursday is Tech Thursday. Every Friday is Agent Attraction Mastermind. So at 10 a.m. every Friday, we got together there. I don't care that you had just the largest million dollar listing property you ever had. We don't talk production. On there, we talk team building and we mastermind over all of the different things that EXP offers and all of the different ways how you can build teams and in the company. So let's talk about that very quick. There is a million ways how you can have a team. So the very first one is a husband and wife team or a domestic partnership. As long as you're legally married and you both have a real estate license, as soon as you join, you join each as individuals, but as soon as you join and you can prove it with a marriage certificate, they blend you into one person, which means you have one cap and one cut. What? So both of you can sell houses, both course goes towards that 116,000 cap and you can icon faster. So now your both of your transaction goes towards the icon and you icon much faster. And you only pay the $185 a month, not both of you, and not, not two to $16,000 caps. So that's amazing. If you are out there and you're watching this and your spouse is already licensed or thinking about becoming licensed, but you didn't do it because you didn't want to have two caps, this is your opportunity to run business as a married couple or a domestic partnership and only have one cap and one cut. Also, you can have multiple state licenses and only have one cap and one cut. On Team GoGo, we have multiple broker owners multiple agents stop producing agents that have businesses in multiple states. I'm going to use maybe Carol and Max, for example. So Carol Hazel Perry, she is a broker owner from Michigan. She has a brokerage up here in Michigan. And then she also has a brokerage in Florida. She brought both of her brokerages over and now she's a team inside of EXP doing business in two different states, but only has one cap and one cut. So she could sell 20 homes in Michigan, 60 homes in Florida, which by the way, congratulations, Carol. She's an icon agent. She just iconed in her first year with us she's getting her cap back i'm so excited for you that's your retirement right there so that right there she's multiple state broker owner she brought both of her businesses over to exp she has one cap one cut one monthly fee and she gets to icon because she can use both states production towards that one icon max powers was another agent that um she joined he joined us sorry in hungarian we don't have he and she so i mix those two together um he joined us i think he's going on a year here shortly he's also going to icon he's a top producer but he did um he has a license in Michigan, he has a license in New York, and he has a license in uh, Florida. So it's a no brainer for him because in Michigan, he was with Remax. In uh, New York, he was with Compass. And in Florida, he didn't have a brokerage yet because he just got licensed. That's when I got to him. He would have had three different brokerages, three different set of fees, three different set of cuts, three different set of marketing costs. Here, he can have multiple state licenses, do business, sell a house here, two houses there, 100 houses here, and all goes toward that one cap and, and he can icon much faster. So it's a no brainer if you have multiple state licenses to be at EXP because your, your fees, your cut, and especially your marketing costs would be much, much cheaper. Okay, um, also everybody at EXP gets your own website. KV Core is amazing, guys. That, that alone is worth you switching over. No other um, CRM program has a lead generation platform built right into it. Like I have CRM programs I always had, I have multiple, okay? I like to own my own data. But with that being said, I don't know of another one that I personally had that was able to lead capture for me. So you're going to get your first name, last name at exprealty.com. That is going to be your Kiwi Core website. You feel free to check out mine. Mine, I bought a different domain because my first name you can't pronounce or spell. So I bought a different domain and transferred the traffic to it. It's Gogo's Real Estate Team. Dot com. So again, go to gogosrealestateteam.com and you can see my KV Core website. I'm able to capture all of your information. All you're doing is looking at properties and then it's going to ask you at some point, hey, would you like to log in with Facebook so you can see the rest of the photos and the rest of the properties? And you're going to be like, yes, I'm not giving you my name and email address. I'm just going to log in with Facebook. Well, guess what you gave to Facebook? Your name and email address. That's right. And Facebook is so kind and shares it with me. Thank you, Facebook. Love it all day long. So we have a massive database. All you need to do now is set up your automated responses or be really good on the phone and get back to your leads as you generate automatically and you get to keep your own leads and you don't have to pay for them. Like, yeah, I know, I know. All these are keep coming. Now, back to the teams. Besides husband and wife and before, besides multiple state licenses, there's three ways how you can have teams at EXP. One is a standard team. One is a self-organized team. One is a mega icon team. So start with self-organized because it's the most simple. It's in the meaning of the word. It's self-organized. You know what that means? You can do whatever you want. You plus one is considered 
a team. So you, me and Dwayne could run GoGo's and Dwayne's team. Okay, we call it that. We are both 16,000 cappers. We both have the opportunity to icon, but we are running our production together under an umbrella. So for production and for team and yada yada marketing purposes, it sounds better. So usually it works really good with, um, for example, two sisters that are doing this together. Okay, so they've already been running real estate as the sisters in Wisconsin, for example. Now they're like, well, I don't wanna be me and you be you. And then we always run it together, makes sense? So then you can come over and run it together. You're both 16,000 cappers or full cappers. You can both icon none of you have all of the benefits that exp offers you're just running it under a team name so that's the self-organized that's going to standard standards is what i have i have a small team in the state of michigan called gogo's real estate team all of the transactions that i personally organically generate get run under the team i no longer personally do production because i don't do a lot of coaching and this is what i love i love changing lives this is my legacy think of it this way could i go and sell four or five houses that used to be my average a month Absolutely. Could I do that? With my eyes closed in seven other languages. I could move another state and I could start doing that production. I love what I do and I'm really good at it. But here's the thing. Should I instead take my time and knowledge and teach 610 agents to sell one house a month? Would that make a difference in the industry? Would that leave just a little bit of a bigger legacy than if I continue doing six transactions a month without making my head spin? I think so. So that's where I spend my time. I spend my time helping others reach their goals. And this is where I want to spend my time. But at the same time, I always organically generated all of my leads, which means now I have all of these leads. Somebody has to work it. I shouldn't just let that go poof because now I'm coaching and mentoring and I'm uh, on podcasts all the time and I'm doing public speaking events. I mean, for Pete's sakes, guys, I'm speaking at Inman this week. Inman on June 17th. Yeah, I used to say when if I get an opportunity to speak at Inman, I know I made it and I can retire. So I think, cheers to that. I guess I could retire this week. Inman, baby. So I'd rather do that. I'd rather change thousands and thousands of agents' lives versus keep living my top producer but mediocre life in a sense because that's a personal ceiling and I don't like ceilings, okay? So that's what I personally love doing. So I formed the Gogo's Real Estate team, what we call GRAT. It's a standard team in the state of Michigan and here is what you need to do. You have to have at least six million in production or 30 transactions in the, in the previous 12 months in order to qualify for standard. Okay, as soon as you form your standard, you give it a name. Mine is Google's Real Estate Team. You give a roster, so you include your, your agents. In mine, we have four. And then all of the productions, you have your cut, you have your contract, and then corporate knows how to split each, each contract based on what the contract was signed. That's a standard team. Now, the thing for you, you as a top, uh, or you as a team leader are 16,000 capper, but your agents are 8,000 cappers or what we call half cappers. So if your agents are paying in 8,000, they cannot get back 16. So the thing that they are losing is they cannot icon. But an agent on a team can leave the team at any time. So if you have an agent who's like really ramping up production and you're like, honey, you're much better being out on your own. Like, I don't want to keep taking this from you. You really don't need me. Go out on your own. You still win because that agent is in your downline. They're not going anywhere. They're staying with the company. This is the other thing about EXP. If you're a top producer or you're a team leader and you have trained agents, you know how this works. If they're any good, they're going to catch on really fast. About six months mark, they're going to leave you. So you spent all this time before they ever even got to do some production. I mean, they did some production, but they catch on. They realize, hold on a minute. I can do this. Thank you so much for all the knowledge, all your time. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go out on my own. And here you are again, training the next person and the next person and the next person. And it just never ends. I didn't want that. I love teaching. But at the same time, if that's taking time away from my production, I have to get paid. Somehow I need to feed my family. And that's why I love this model because in this model, we all win. I want you to get off my team. I want you to be an individual agent. I want you to generate your own leads and I want you to build your own empire. And I'm here to help you do just that. I don't need you on my team. But there are some agents that don't wanna figure out lead generation on their own. They're really happy when everything is provided to them. There's a, there's a certain amount of um, production they wanna do. Like some agents are perfectly happy doing one closings a month because they just wanna make extra money. Their husband or wives are making, excuse my French, a lot of money. They really don't need the money. So they're just doing it for the extra cherry on the cake. Whatever their goal is, there is something somewhere in a team structure that they would fit in. But if that agent is going for that individual production, eventually they're going to run and leave your team. And then here you are spending all this time and not really ever making real money what you can feed your family with. So with this setting here at EXP, you want them to go out on their, on their own. You want them to be individual producer. You want them to build their own empires. Because when you grow, 
sorry, when they grow, you grow. When they go off of your team, yes, they go back to a 16,000 cap from an 8,000 cap, but then they can icon. So then they can earn their cap back. So if they are a producer and they're just cranking out one transaction after the other, they are much better of being on their own. And it's better for you because they go from a half capping agent to a full capping agent. So your revenue share goes from a half revenue share to a full revenue share. So everybody wins. You always want your the best for your agents. This is why I love this model. I make money when they make money. And my goal is to help every single one of you to reach your goals, whatever that goal may be, okay? So that's a standard team. The minimum you have to take on a standard team as a team leader, I have to take a minimum of 25% on every single transaction. I can't tell one of my agents, hey, Clancy, this is your mom's condo. I'm, I'm not gonna take a cut on this. I can't do that. I have to take a minimum of 25% on every single transaction. So again, for a standard team, the team leader is a 16,000 capper. The agents on the team are 8,000 cappers or what we call half cappers. Um, then you have to qualify to start a standard team, which is 30 transactions or six million in production in the previous 12 months. If you have that, you qualify to start. You name your team, you give your roster, the agents that are on there. You have your contract, you provide that to corporate based on that they split the commission according to the contract, and that's pretty much it. You can icon as the team leader, the agents cannot, because in order to pay in a half cap, you cannot get back a full cap. Makes sense in company stocks. So that's the standard. Mega icon team is the next option. If you have done as a team more than 175 transactions or 40 million in production in the previous 12 months, you qualify to what's called a mega icon team. On the mega icon team, you as a team leader are a 16,000 cappers, but your agents are 4,000 cappers or what we call quarter cappers. Again, you have to take a minimum of 25% on every single transactions and the agents cannot icon. They cannot pay in 4,000 to get back 16 in company stocks. But again, they can leave the team at any time. So if you have those rock star agents that you're like, honey, you're better off being on your own, they can do that. They can leave the team at any time and you can continuously hire on. Now on the mega icon team, you have some requirements. You have to guarantee as a team leader, you have to guarantee that at least 10 of your agents would um, cap at 4,000. If not, you are on the hook for the 4,000. So let's say you have the shittiest year ever. You're on the hook for 40 grand, 10 agents at 4,000, and you're also on the hook for your own 16,000 cap. So $56,000 on a mega icon team is the minimum that you have to pay into corporate to qualify for a mega icon team. So these are the ways how you can have teams at the company. So just to recap, our cap is 16,000 nationwide and our cut is 80-20 for everyone nationwide unless you're a brand new agent. And then it's a 60-40 split on your first three transactions. But for the 40%, you get a mentor who holds your hand to the transaction. Your sponsor in the company, though, can be absolutely anywhere. That's the person that you want to be in business with. That's the one thing you cannot change. After you choose your sponsor, that person is going to be your sponsor forever. You will not be able to change your sponsor later. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's a big decision what you are making. So make sure that you, you are business partner with the person that you love, that they work exactly like you do, that you can learn from that they can take you to where you want to go or you already are where they are but together you will be much stronger also in team gogo we will refer to each other guys we don't refer outside of team gogo unless we don't have a team gogo agent in the group so if we have an agent in if you're looking for an agent in wisconsin we are going to post in team gogo in our private facebook group first if we don't have someone in there then we post into the honey badgers which is one group up and then so goes on if we don't have somebody in any of our private groups that we all get access to here at exp that's when we go to the outsiders now some of the things that you might have heard about me is my boot camps so the social media bootcamp, it's called Gogo's Bootcamp. Um, it's hundreds and hundreds of videos of how I got to where I'm at today. It's literally helping you set up your social media game so you can create your own brand and lead generate with that brand so you never, ever, ever have to rely on a third party. That also comes with a private Facebook group and a once a month group coaching call that you automatically get access to, but not only you, but your whole downline. So when you decide to bring your business over to EXP, and if you're a brokerage or team, or even if you're an individual agent, but eventually you're going to have your best friend and your cousin and your mom join in business with you that is your downline makes sense now everything i do all the team gogo benefits are free to everybody that i personally sponsor into the company but also free to everybody that they bring who they bring who bring them then bring them then bring them so it's literally the team gogo family the international family every group coaching call every training including my boot camps even personalized coaching calls directly with me are free 
for the rest of your life as long as your business partner is with me. So the Gogo's Bootcamp social media course, the Gogo's Bootcamp agent attraction course, our uh, private Facebook groups, my Google Drive, everything that we do here with the weekly training calls, those four, four times a week that I mentioned is free to everybody and every, everybody that I personally sponsor and everybody in your own organization as well. So literally, I will train, train your team for you. That's what it means, partnering. My, your best interest is my best interest. I'm here to help you reach your goals in any possibly way I can. The one thing that I forgot to mention, guys, we are in 16 different countries. So if you are watching this from any state of the United States, Canada, uh, Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, um, England, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Australia, Hong Kong, India, South Africa, and there's two more. I know Israel is coming, and there's one more coming that I'm forgetting. Um, if you are in any of these countries, or you know anybody that's a licensed realtor in any of these countries, we can partner with you, which means please click the button below, set up an appointment with me, watch all the other videos on this site. I want you to watch all seven of them because bringing your business over to eXp, it is a life changing event. So I want you to change, I can't change your life unless you want to change your life, but you should only change your life if you are fully 100% educated on the decision that you are making and in your gut feeling, you know that is the absolute best decision that you should be making and you cannot wait to sign. I don't want you to join with me unless this is the absolute 100% decision that you made and you're so freaking excited about it just how i'm so freaking excited to be here and to call 610 agents my business partners and then who knows who's in the future like i cannot wait to be able to be business partners with you if this is the decision that you're making i'm already so excited so all you need to do is literally click the, the button below after you watch all seven videos um jump into my calendar and have a phone conversation with me. After you watch the videos, you'll know exactly what your specific questions are. You will have all of the, the generic questions answered, but then when you and me jump on a call, we can go into detail. How does this apply to you? How is your business different than maybe something that you're doing, you have a specific question on, so then I can answer it. I would love the opportunity to be business partners with you. Thank you so much if you made it this far into this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you into my, in my calendar. All you need to do is click the button below where it says, um, I want an appointment mentor I want in something like that you'll get access to my calendar just pick a time I'm looking forward to spending that half an hour with you answering all of your questions and I'm certainly looking forward to naming you my business partner if that's the uh, decision that you're going to make so thank you for watching welcome to exp and welcome to team gogo because I know after you see all these videos I know one thing and I'm certain after you see it you can't unsee it so I see you in team gogo bye guys